just got done watching the American Horror Story uh, Season 10 finale. Somehow, I was a week late on this. I completely forgot about it. I thought I had finished the show for some reason. I think what happened is I started watching the new Chucky TV series. And because that show came on, it made me think, because it comes on around the same time as American Horror Story, for some reason it made me think that American Horror Story was done, or I just didn't give enough shit about the show to keep up with the... I don't know what happened. But anyway, I missed it by like a week, so that's too bad. But anyway, um, I'm going to read off my notes. Overall, I'll say for the finale, wasn't bad, um, but again, I think the whole season really suffered from... Uh, the stories being broken up into segments. I say suffered, but at the same time, I guess it uh, took away some filler, right? And kind of, of course, progressed the stories a little bit, but at the same time, it made them feel a little bit cheap because you didn't get to quite develop with all the characters maybe as much as you wanted to. But I did start to feel that attachment for uh, Mrs. Eisenhower uh, at the end of this episode. So, um, you know, I, I, think it, I think it was all right. Uh, just as alright as American Horror Story has been in, in recent times. You know, of course, it's not been as good as it has in or earlier seasons. But anyway, so... Are you just going to leave me chainsawed over here? Man, my girlfriend always says something silly in the video, so she made sure she got something in this one. Uh, okay, so... Help me! Just ignore the screams. Help me! Uh, so, Vietnam, I, I like how in this season uh, they have real life events of course uh, correspond with their alien plot uh, it feels a little bit uninspired to a degree uh, because they're just kinda going off theories and things that already exist uh, but at the same time it is interesting still even so uh, so they're saying that Vietnam happened as a distraction to distract the people from people going missing for the aliens so that's kinda cool cool reason for Vietnam to happen you know um, I'm not sure if that was already a theory or they're just putting that in here. But anyway, so they bring in these reptilian people, uh, which um, I know that's already a thing that people, you know, there's theories, conspiracies out there about these reptilian people. And I don't know if um, they're going to, I don't think they'll explore on it in other seasons, but it felt very forced in here at the end. Not really like there was supposed to be more to it or there could be more to it. Um, but yeah, reptilian people is just kind of something that they fit in there that was just because, you know. Um, so yeah, so we have that. Um, I would have liked to see more of it, though, is what I'm saying, you know. And if they did a full alien theme season, you know, instead of breaking it up, then we could have dug more into that plot. It reminds me of how aliens were shoehorned into Asylum. That's how kind of how the reptilians feel here. Um, but I guess they're just fitting in every conspiracy that they can. Anyway, so her code name was Deep Throat. There's just always that sexual element to American War Story, so they had it in here. Um, yeah, so she picks Deep Throat because she heard it in a movie, porn movie, I guess. So, okay, and uh, and then we get to see the uh, president get anal probed, the classic uh, alien thing, of course. You got anal probed. Uh, so they're fitting in every alien trope, you know, thing they can here at the end. Um, so Eisenhower's uh, fudge. That I'm just saying something specific. I forget the... I forget the the commenter person who had told me in my last video about they were giving me a little bit more uh, detail about the, the to look into Valiant Thor and apparently uh, President I mean uh, Lady Eisenhower made fudge in real life and everybody thought it was delicious and all this so it helps me realize some more of those Easter eggs he was telling me to look more into the uh, real life stuff because um, it makes it more interesting. Uh, his name is like uh, Rhett Ressner R, I think. Um, so yeah, thanks for uh, telling me, uh, informing me more about that. I still need to do more research. Um, I haven't uh, yet, but I, but I, I will. I watch a video or something. Um, so anyway, uh, thought it was kind of funny how they mow down the soldier. Like these trained soldiers start freaking out and shooting the. Because you think to be trained in this procedure of killing the aliens, but they see the, the face sucker on the on the guy, and they just go for body shots instead and miss the head. I was just like, man, some some soldiers we got here. Uh, but it was just it was, it was funny. Not really a complaint, but the females giving birth. I'm sure if a mom was watching this, 
uh, then she would be like, you know, that's just ridiculous, right? Uh, um, I, I don't know if they have some type of alien technology on their hands. The way they do it, I mean, it's, you know, fiction, so it's you just can't overthink it anyway. But they just do like a nasty sound effect, and they just go in there and then pull out the baby. No pushing or anything. They just reach right in there. It just look, it just looked really silly. It looked funny. Uh, so, so yeah, that was okay. And, uh, and then they, they fucking take her head off and put a faceless thing on her. I, I really don't know why, like, they would care to save her the suffering of giving birth over and over, uh, whenever they've already forced this on her anyway. Um, but yeah, it's just something they do. They put a silver giant head on her. It was just ridiculous. It was just funny. I, I was like... I, I don't think there was a reason they gave to do that. There's no reason to do that. They could keep her alive forever, sedate her, but no, they, they cut her off and made her look like a fucking, like a, like an action figure with the head ripped off of it. It was uh, just so silly. Um, but okay. And let's see. I did like the soldiers not knowing um, Eisenhower, President Eisenhower. They're like, oh, he's on the 20, isn't he? Or something like that. I don't know if he, I forget if he's actually on the 20 or not, but... Um, I, like I said, I don't I don't know a lot about this stuff, and that's why I like that they didn't either, because it's like, you know, it's just kind of interesting to think. Like for me, you know, Obama, Biden, um, Trump, those are the presidents floating around in my mind. But to my kids, you know, and down the line, the presidents that they have, they're gonna look back and be like, oh, Obama, Trump, you know, who are those people? Probably, you know. Um, so it's just interesting, right? How how it just changes like that, and they acknowledge that. And then, um, so I really liked. Uh, Lady Eisenhower's character, um, realizing how she was wrong, to it, it really shaped out her character because I just didn't see her character going in this direction. And of course, Sarah Paul Paulson was great, um, but uh, how she admitted, like, "Oh, I was wrong," and, and realized it, and uh, her husband was right, and then she tries to make it right uh, by by killing the baby, right, sacrificing herself because it seemed like she was selfless. She was just all about self preservation. But then she knew, okay, if it's for the whole human race or whatever, then she was going to go ahead and go for it and uh, get herself killed uh, for that. And then I really liked the acting. And just the scene was pretty tense and kind of really sad in general whenever she's frozen and paralyzed. And uh, she's got the tears rolling down her face. And uh, that one girl won't help her. And you can kind of justify why she wouldn't help her because, you know, I mean, she was fucked, right? So, um, so you get, get both sides, but it's still tough to watch. And I, I do like that that uh, that scene. And there was a good um, camera shot here, uh, wherever she says, "Humanity is my greatest shame." And uh, the camera takes a moment to hide her human face and just show the alien part of her face. I really like that. And I don't know if that was done intentionally or not, but I think it was. So that was that was good. And then, uh, so yeah. And then it, it, it ends with uh, the aliens winning, I guess, and wiping out the human race. Uh, presumably, most of them. Um, but again, this is an ending that they have done in American Horror Stories uh, and in this as well, in, in the regular show. Uh, a type of ending where, so I was under the impression that all of these, especially since the apocalypse season, all of these seasons are together, just the same actors playing the characters, but they all exist in the same universe. Um, so a lot of these plot lines end in big ways, which is, you know, it's a good punch. But also for the overall thing of the show, it makes you sit and think, well, if these are all connected, then how can anything go on after this, you know, if this big event is happening, you know? Um, I, you know, it's, it's just a little bit like, I don't know, maybe it's overthinking it, but but yeah, so that's just something there. Uh, so yeah, that's that's American Horror Story uh, season ten. Every episode, um, very weird season, of course, being broken up like it is. Um, but of course, I gave my reason for that. I think that having thirteen seasons, they just came up with like an extra that they wanted to do that they couldn't fit into the thirteen seasons that they've been renewed for, or the three additional seasons they've been renewed for. So they had to split one season in half and cram it all in. I hope that they don't keep up with this split season thing, you know, next season. I don't think that they will, um, because I really want them to be able to tell a good, solid story um, for the length of a season instead of, you know, just cramming it in there. Um, which, like I said, it can be fine, you know. Um, some shows getting drawn out isn't a good thing, like Walking Dead does 16 episodes a season. 
whenever I think the show would be a lot more solid uh, if it was like maybe 13 or 10 a season. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. Overall, it wasn't. It didn't end up as terrible as I was expecting. Uh, but like I said, there have definitely been better seasons of American Horror Story before. Um, have there been worse? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, last season, season nine, um, in my opinion, was, was worse. Um, I didn't even finish it though, so maybe I can't quite say that. But just the fact I didn't finish it tells you a lot, though. I'm gonna go back and do it though. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.